Aquarius, hello, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your uh, September 2024 mid-month general reading. We're looking at the second half of September 2024 for you. I hope you're all doing well. It's always a blessing to be here creating these videos for you. You are part of that blessing. Thank you for taking the time to also be here. Aquarius, if your sun, moon, rising, Venus sign is an Aquarius, this video is for you. If you're a cross watcher and cross watching for an Aquarian, this video is also for you. It's also relevant and important. Uh, if you know any or all of your other sign placements, sun, moon, rising, Venus sign, it can be helpful to watch those videos as well because it brings in additional insight and views into your personal situation. Uh, it's a general reading, so of course it'll uh, resonate a little differently for everyone who watches it. Take what resonates for you, leave the rest. Uh, if it really does hit home and you'd like to take a deeper look at something or you simply like the reading style, if you're interested in a personal reading with me for yourself or as a gift for someone else, feel free to email me at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can see that contact information by clicking on the description of this video. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. I can usually get back to you pretty quick, same day or within 24 hours with more info. Uh, I do offer a lot of different choices uh, in reading options, all areas of life, different types, lengths, styles, costs, spreads. There's a little something in there for everyone. And I am also pretty focused, pretty diligent on the timely scheduling of personal readings as well. So if you're interested, email me. Okay, Aquarius. Let's see what the second half of September 2024 uh, looks like for you. For those of you who like to know, I'm using the Royal Deluxe Tarot and clarifying with one of the Gilded Tarot decks. We begin Aquarius with the Ace of Cups, the beginning of a path that will lead or you hope to lead to emotional fulfillment. It might be new love and romance for some of you or emotional renewal in an already existing situation, which it likely is for many of you. We have the Seven of Wands here, which is a defensive card. Some of you, maybe you haven't found that right person yet and you are, um, you're not giving up though. You're determined to keep going, right? Uh, some of you, you may be in a relationship that's been rocky or it's gotten kind of stale, uh, but you're determined to kind of put the spark back into that relationship again. Some of you, this can be in a completely different area of life, but it's having, it's, it's, it's this defensive focus on not giving up on a, 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 an emotional renewal of some kind, whether it's the beginning of a whole brand new, uh, a different path, or whether it's finding a way to revitalize the path that you're on in a new way or a new aspect. Oh, well, next we have the Two of Cups. Soulmates, kindred spirits, best friends. Uh, again, this doesn't have to be romantic. I do try to, even in the general readings, you know, kind of open myself to spirit, giving me messages from all areas of life. But sometimes, you know, there's a strong energy towards towards one area of life. Here, I can see already kind of a, a strong focus on relationships or partnerships. With that Two of Cups, we have the Page of Swords, incoming messages, communication, learning something. It may be that some of you are kind of looking at this partnership and realizing just how karmic the connection is, just how strongly connected you feel to this person, and you're determined to renew it or at least not to lose it. It may be that something's happened recently to make you feel that way. Maybe you feel like you might be in danger of losing this person or this partnership. And all of a sudden, you know how it is, all of a sudden you like, you don't know what you have until you've lost it or you're in danger of losing it. Might be that here. Oh, next we have the tower. Change, unexpected events coming in and shaking things right down to the core or even breaking things down. 
it represents a significant shakeup at the very least. I mean, this is a general reading, so the intensity, you know, the little details, sometimes the area of life and the intensity will vary in a general reading. But it's pretty significant, right? Some of you, so that means that for some of you, the tower can represent a complete annihilation of something. Others of you, it can just represent really a shakeup, like maybe it was meant to make you see something, right? Well, it's meant to make you see something either way. Because the tower is major arcana cards, God, spirit, angels, and guides is bringing this tower to you for a reason. With the king of coins, interesting, this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or somebody who's manifesting like the king of coins. It's a general reading, so it might be female instead of male, probably male for a lot of you. The king of earth, solid, stable, reliable, generous, hardworking, likes good, likes nice, comfortable things, environments, can sometimes be a bit stubborn. This person is showing up as significant or influential. Now, for a very small portion of you, this unexpected energy of the tower may be affecting your financial stability. We'll, of course, clarify. From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy and focus for the second half of September is the Three of Wands, which is positive. The Three of Wands is a card that represents kind of maybe a temporary period of gestation or waiting. It, it speaks of laying the foundation for a more positive future and you're looking kind of out at that future and feeling more hopeful, positive and optimistic about it. There's a sense of maybe things are going to work out. But let's clarify. <clears throat> Three of Wands for Aquarius. Hmm. Just got a download for somebody out there or a small um, a group of people out there. It may be that some of you... <laughs> With this Ace of Cups and this this Seven of Wands, this defensive energy, it may be that some of you um, had either given up or had told yourself you were or were very kind of defensive and closed off to the idea of that Ace of Cups, that new love or that, you know, that being swept away by it or however it is that, that you view it. Maybe a, a, a cynicism that comes from it, a desire for self-protection. Maybe some of you have been quite hurt in the past, but it comes in and blows your world anyway with this particular person. That's just for some of you. Others of you, I'm not sure who this king of coins is, but let's go back to the main uh, the general overall focus for the last half of September with that three of wands. Two of wands, significant decisions, a path of action has to be chosen. Death, embracing change, out with the old, in with the new. Making a, cha a choice to take a perhaps a big chance on something. In order to bring something into your life, have something in your life, or save something in your life. Because it feels like something has happened. I mean, obviously from the tower, right? The question is actually, uh, uh, the general part of this for you guys is the tower. Like some of you, that tower is going to be, you know, uh, a pot losing a, uh, uh, a soulmate relationship. Or or a strong potential of losing uh, a soulmate relationship um, that's going to cause you to step out of your comfort zone and maybe take a, a huge risk, something maybe you weren't willing to do before, like get married or I don't know, something like that, and go, okay, wait, I my fears of not doing the thing are not as great as my fears of losing this person, so I don't want to lose this person, so... And others of you, it's going to be like literally a new love and romance coming in that's just going to blow away all your 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 previous ideologies about love and romance. Because here, making a, a, a with the two of swords and death with the three of wands, that's making a really significant 
a, ch a choice to take a course of action that you previously um, had were determined not to take but in order to move forward on this path it's going to require you to um, to, to, to change to, and to embrace that change. And with that, we have the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Sooner rather than later, this is quick, fast, assertive, precise movement, communication, travel for some of you. And the Ten of Cups, which is the happy home, happily ever after, white picket fence, marriage, home, children, family, you know, that traditional kind of view, whatever that means for you. Um, and making a chance for a, a choice for that. Now, for some of you, this might be in another area of life, like career work, money or something, but it has a, a significant effect on a primary relationship of some kind, perhaps even home and family. And it's about making the choice that is best for either this relationship or your home and family, whichever that is. Ace of Cups, Seven of Wands. Six of Cups. This is a card typically uh, associated with history, um, past, people, places, situations from the past. Could be all the way back to childhood. It could be, uh, you know, just history. Um, for romantic relationships, it may be somebody that you've been with for quite some time and you're determined to hold on to it in a, in a situation where it might be threatened. Maybe they've had another offer. Um, some of you, it may be a blast from the past kind of coming in. Ace of Wands, another ace with that Ace of Cups, exciting new beginning. The Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, having what you want. The Three of Wands again. The five of pentacles being shut out or feeling insufficient. I feel again like you're like there's a situation here where for some of you that you know something is is threatening your I mean not maybe not physically threatening, but well maybe in a sense. Some of you may be on the verge of or feel like you're on the verge of losing something that is either losing a primary relationship home and family or losing something in another another area of life that's going to negatively impact that you know like a job or something two of cups page of swords because there's news information coming in here might be somebody watching another person some kind of news coming in we have the Ace of Swords and the Two of Swords, the Two of Cups again. The Two of Cups and the Page of Swords is clarified by the Two of Cups and the Ace of Swords, new information, realizations, epiphanies, information coming in. The Nine of Swords that has you really stressed out. You're worried about the future. You're worried about the future. Tower. King of Coins. Knight of Cups, the Knight of Love, charging forward, offering his love, support, encouragement. Uh, the Lovers, a ch significant choice either about a relationship or in another area of life that's going to significantly impact the relationship. For some of you, it may be that somebody came in and made an offer to your person. It could be that three of swords and seven of wands. Again, heartache, heartbreak, breakup, disappointment, potential breakup anyway. But that seven of wands again. Look, <clears throat> for some of you, this is straight up a third party situation. Um, regardless of which side of it you're on or what your place is in that third party situation. Some of you, this is, this is a third party situation. Um, there's a relationship which someone else has come into um, and made a, a, an offer, uh, a pretty attractive offer. 
Um, it may be that for some of you, there may be a situation where maybe your partner wanted to take the relationship to a place that you didn't want to take it to, like moving in together or getting engaged or getting married or something like that. Um, but you've stayed together for some, and you haven't, but you've stayed together for some time, but somebody else is coming in and actually offering that. Again, there's this sense here, and I feel like whoever's the offer is being made to, it's an attractive offer. Um, and herein lies that, oh my God, what do I do, right? This person is my soulmate. I can't, you know, what do I do? For some of you, it I, again, this is a general reading, so the little details and intensity will vary. Some of you, it might be in a whole nother area of life, but it has such a huge impact on relationship and home. Um, but for a lot of you, this is just about relationships, um, those relationships and having a third party person in here. But the determination, the, the determination that to hold on to it, but it's probably going to require something from you that's challenging, um, a change of some kind, right? There's a sense of what do I do? Do I fight for this? Or do I not? It feels like a lot of you choose to fight for it. But fighting for it means that you're going to have to underscore the history you have with this person, like remind them of the history you have with this person, and take a look at what hasn't been good in the relationship and address that, right? To kind of counteract this other offer. Interesting reading. All right, I'm going to leave it there and end with some advice, guidance, feedback from spirit, because this feels kind of, uh, even for a general reading, kind of complex. Okay, advice, guidance, feedback from spirit. For Aquarius, second half of September. All right, the magician and the star. Here spirit is saying, look, you're capable of manifesting this new beginning or this renewal or this reconciliation because the star actually comes after the tower, right? To renew, restore hope, faith, and optimism, to rebuild. It's a card of hope after despair, light after darkness, health after sickness. The magician says, you have everything that you need. Whatever it is you, you, you want out of this, you have the ability to have it, but, there's always that but, right? You're going to have to ask yourself, what do I really want? Be very decisive and action-oriented and assertive about that. And it's going to require you stepping out of your comfort zone, taking a leap of faith, taking some risk, doing something that previously you may have been opposed to, kind of like, you know, marriage, right? Which the Ten of Cups here can represent as well. It may be that you've had a long-time partner you've been with. Maybe she or he has wanted to take it to that next level or take it to some other, some deeper level, and you've been resistant. You guys stay together though, right? But there's a third party offer coming in. Some of you, it might not be romantic, but the majority of you, it is. There's another offer coming in, and it's a good offer. It's an attractive offer, right? It's a better offer than what you have been offering. So in order to counteract that, of course, you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone and take a chance by kind of stepping up to the plate in one way or another. And and if you do that, you will, you know, they say all is fair in love and war. You'll win if you do that. But if you dilly-dally and hem and haw and, and kind of stay on the resistant side of things, um, you're going to lose a relationship or something to this other offer. All right, I'm going to leave it there. <clears throat> Strange reading. I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. Uh, those are your messages for the second half of September. I, I want to also say that um, for many of you, this is like there's there's a third, you know, there's there's three sets of stories here, and you 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 may be um, 
the one who's been resistant to something that they've now had the better offer in. You might be the other person. You might be the one making an offer to somebody, right? You're, I don't, this is general reading. So your place in this may vary in a general reading, but the fundamental energy remains the same. So those are your messages. Uh, Aquarius for the second half of September 2024. I hope that they gave you some food for thought or it was validating for you in some way. For those of you for whom it resonated. You ever have one of those days where your hair just doesn't do what you want it to do? Uh, anyway, if it did resonate with you and you'd like to maybe take a deeper dive, a deeper look at it um, and reach out for a personal reading for yourself or even as a gift for someone else, or you simply like the reading style, again, if you're interested, uh, please email me at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can see that information by clicking on the description of this video. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the next set of readings. Until then, stay well, stay safe. Uh, I hope to see you back here again soon, and I hope to hear from some of you as well. Take care. Bye-bye.